Hey guys, it's Melissa from Ted Lair Garden Center and I've got Derek behind the camera with me today. Hi everybody. And I'm going to show you some of the rare houseplants that we have in stock here at the Garden Center right now. We've got quite a lovely collection of different anthuriums, philodendrons, and some other goodies and I thought I would just kind of do a showcase with these plants today. It is part of our weekly Wednesday videos that we do on houseplants, so stay tuned for more of those throughout the rest of the season. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you some of the plants that we have. I'm going to forewarn you and tell you I am terrible at pronouncing plants, and I will definitely murder some names on these. But hopefully you'll at least be able to see what they're looking like and have an idea of what we might have here on hand. I am going to start, I think, with our alocasias that we have here. This is one of my favorites right now. I don't know if you can really zoom in and see that color. It is really hard to capture with video, but it's almost like a pinkish, blackish, beautiful color on its leaves. And this one is called Aslani alocasia. So really cool, pretty plant. I love this one. We also have this guy right here, and I will definitely murder this name, Chantrieri Alocasia. You're laughing at me well, already. Well, because I was going to say get ready for a show if you want to hear a plant pronounce a plant's name. I know. <laughs> I'm terrible at plant pronunciation. Anybody feel my pain? So this is a really cool one, too. If you look at just the shape of that leaf, I really like that. So if you're into alocasias, a really cool one. I thought I had, oh, yep, I've got one more baby over here. We have some of the dragon scales two so coming and growing we did have a few largers of these but they are now gone and that one feels Leathery the texture on it is. yes i love to touch plants for that reason i also have oh i'll show you case this one because i know everybody wants to see this hopefully that sunlight is hitting it perfectly and you can see the beautiful variegation of this zz plant so this is a variegated zz plant we have a couple small starts of this left so pretty and then over here I've got a couple different syngoniums that I will show you this one is one called pink splash look at that pretty pink color if you are a sucker for pink plants this is a gorgeous one to add to your collection and we've got another syngonium right here this one is called ice frost Again, the leaves are a little bit thicker from what you would normally think about when you would feel a syngonium, but really pretty kind of nice texture to those leaves too and that frosty color to it. And I was gonna say that one doesn't even remind me of a syngonium. No, you know it doesn't. I, mean? I would totally agree with you on that one for sure. Touch on a couple other fun little plants we have here. This one is a hard one to find if you were oh. a ficus lover. This is a uh, ficus variegata triangular, or triangular <laughs> variegata, sorry. Uh, nice triangle shaped leaves, pretty variegation. And one of the other features I actually really love about this plant is the dark veins on the underside of them too, I think are really cool and pretty. So fun little plant, love to add that one too. I just added it to my collection, so did Derek, I believe. Yeah, that's probably my, one of my favorite ones in the video is that one, I just really yes. like that ficus. Yes, this guy does not look like much. Stefania Subarosa. We also have a recta in the house too. These will are coming out of dormancy right now. So you can see the tiny little green that's coming on them. They look kind of like a potato, but they get the coolest leaves on them. So definitely a fun one to add to the collection as well. I'm going to delve into our anthuriums that we have on hand right now. This is not everything we have. It's just a small selection of things. I'll do this one first. This one is crystallinum. If you're looking Look, for cool leaf patterns. This is gorgeous and I love this one. It is so, so pretty. I don't have anthuriums yet, but this one makes me want to be in that mix for sure. This one right here is one called Forgetti Eye. Derek's smiling because I probably just murdered <laughs> no, that I one too. I think that's too. right actually, but so the plant names are just kind of funny sometimes. Sorry. I'll quit smiling. No, nope, it's okay. <laughs> and then this one has no price or oh, name. That falls so, on me on for that one. For not I'm not sure right. on this one what it is. I will have to do a little research on that. If anybody knows, feel free to drop us a message on that one. So that's a pretty one. And this is another one called, oh no, Villa, <laughs> Villanorum. <laughs> Looks right to me. So I love this one too. The texture is really velvety and soft, beautiful plant. And I missed an alocasia that was back here too. This one is one called Dragon Tooth. 
super fun too. I'm gonna go over to philodendrons, which are my personal favorite and what I tend to have more of in my collection right now. This one is the Silver Sword. It's not quite as rare as it once was. It's a little bit more readily available, but I love that silvery blue color. I got one last year and it has grown like a weed. So it's grown super easy, super fun. I love it. This guy is Philodendron, I can't say it either, Squamiferum. I love it for the stems. Did you see? Those pretty, pretty yeah, stems. Ember unwrapping these. I know. And the leaves are gorgeous too. I love the shape and how glossy the leaves are, but the stems are definitely why it does it for me. Also, if you're looking for an easier care of rare philodendron, yeah. I learned that that one actually is pretty Super easy. Super easy. Super easy. This one, hopefully you can see in the light. This is one called Subhastatum. And I love it for the underside of those leaves. They are so pretty in the light. It's getting a new leaf on it. Gorgeous. And this is one of my favorites and Derek's too. This yep. one is called the Painted Lady. Look how pretty that foliage is. It has kind of these pre pretty pinkish stems on it. Gorgeous plant to add to your philodendron collection. That's a work plant for me. I have one of those at my desk. Yes, I love you it. do. Yes, you do. And you have for a while. Um, this guy is the El Chaco philodendron, and there is nothing that compares to the velvety of these leaves. Well, so if you kind of look how it shimmers in the light. Shimmers in the light. It's kind of similar to like how a micans looks in the light a little bit. Kind of that velvety, shimmery, super pretty, pretty plant. And I've got one more philodendron. This one is called the Mamii Silver. And I love that. Look at the pattern on those pretty leaves. This one's getting a new leaf on it right now gorgeous yeah it looks great yeah really love that and I'm going to end this with a plant that I would normally not consider to be rare or even in something that I would normally like a whole lot Diefenbachia or dumb cane this is one called white Etna but if you look at the beauty of these leaves I actually really love this plant so it's calling my name so you might, those, have, to, you might have to grab it before the, when the video is over I know right <laughs> So those are a few of the plants that we currently have in stock here at Ted Lair for our rare house plants. We are always getting in more things, so definitely check back with us and watch for our future videos on Wednesdays with house plants. Thanks for watching today. See ya.